Hey everybody, it's Jim with Triple J Bricks. Welcome back to another video. Today I am in a camper van in New Zealand with my family. And we're gonna make a little pit stop. So we are in uh, Thames, New Zealand, small town. And uh, we camped next door to this place called The Warehouse. And we walked into the warehouse this morning because we needed towels, because we didn't come with towels in the camper van. And I went in and they had Lego. And so what I did is I was looking, I was doing some conversions on some of the sets and then I saw they had a bunch of CMFs, Series 25, for $5 New Zealand, which includes essentially tax. That's $3 US. So I'm gonna go buy a bunch of minifigures. <laughs> All right, so I ended up getting 25 in total. And again, I was trying to find ones based off of the spreadsheet. I can link that down in the description below of the spreadsheet I was looking at. It's not a perfect science at all, but I was trying to find it. So I've opened a few so far. I have two of the Vampire Knights, uh, a dinosaur, pet groomer, and the train kid. And um, so I still have a bunch more to open. And right now what I'm doing is I'm just bagging them uh, into like you know, minifig sets, so it's not super hard to to do all of that later, but uh, we have a lot to get through, and it should be interesting to see where we end up. But in total, in USD, in US dollar, I spent $76, whereas if I would have purchased these in the US for regular price, it would have cost me 134 So I saved $58, just purchasing these minifigs at a random store called The Warehouse in Thames, New Zealand. So, so random. <laughs> but uh, but here we are. And uh, so, yeah, I'll get cracking on more of these. All right, Jim from the future here uh, to give you just a little bit more uh, information on sort of what was happening in this video. We had to move kind of quickly from this location. We were trying to get to another place. And so we had to just sort of go in and I just was not expecting to find Lego for a good price because I had been to a Lego store in Wellington before this. And the prices were, well, they were expensive obviously in New Zealand dollars, but um, I was doing the calculations into USD and they were coming out about 10 or $11, depending on the set, um, more than they would in the US. However, the New Zealand prices are including tax, like a general sales tax are included. And so it actually, the sets there, technically speaking, were coming out about the same price maybe even a little bit cheaper than USD when you consider tax. So in the state of Minnesota, it's 7.75%. Um, so when I came across these minifigures, they were $5. Now, every other set that was on display, even in this warehouse, were in sort of New Zealand pricing. New Zealand dollars. But these minifigures were $5 in New Zealand. When I bought, uh, you know, 20 or 25 of these, um, they just rang it up for an even $100 in New Zealand. And so I saved quite a bit on tax per minifigure. So it was actually, it turned out really great. So basically we use this spreadsheet that I found online. Uh, I'll link it down below in the description, but essentially I'm not going to go into great detail about this because there's been a ton of stuff on how to buy CMFs and there's tons of videos about it, but basically the larger barcodes you can scan with a scanner app, which I have done before, and those are generally very, very accurate. The smaller barcodes are a little bit harder to decipher. And so the spreadsheet that this person made essentially 
they bought a bunch of the, of the CM Afro collectible minifigures, and they used the numbers that are on the back and sort of put which ones they were finding within each of that number. And you'll that'll make a lot more sense if you look at the spreadsheet. But essentially, um, I started to just pick some of the numbers that had a greater chance of being the ones that I was looking for, namely the Fright Night figures, because those are going to be great in our Castle Mock, the Goat Herd, and the Barbarian, because the sword is really, really cool, and I think the torso and legs could totally be used to in alternate uh, minifigures for like our own making our own custom ones. Uh, again, for the Castle Mocks. So I was mainly looking for those. So... Here's the bag. I got 25 minifigures total. Um, and I got three of the Fright Knights, which I was looking for. I got three of the goat herd, which again, the goats are really cool and I want to use, I would love to use these animals in our mocks. Plus the torso and legs are really, really good to set, kind of match and make custom minifigs. I got four, yeah, no, four, one, two, three, yeah, four of the barbarian, which is awesome. Again, her sword is really, really super cool and the torso can totally be used. Uh, with custom minifigures. So that's what, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got ten out of the 25 that I think are sort of useful. Uh, I got two, three of the little sort of mushroom girl, which honestly, these little mushroom caps are kind of cute. And I think that might be fun to maybe put that like I don't know, in like a fantasy forest or something in a future build. I'm not sure. I got one of the train kid. I got two of the detective, which it's grayscale. And it's actually a kind of a cool fig. So I might end up keeping a couple of those. I got, let's see, three of the dinosaur, the dinosaur one. And then I ended up getting, I think, five of the groomer, the pet groomer. So... I wasn't really interested in this one, and I wasn't really interested in the dinosaur and stuff. So I, I got a lot of the figs that I was I was interested in, but I did get a lot of the figs that I wasn't super interested in. Before I made this purchase, I told myself um, that if I didn't get some of the figs, it was really hard to pass up three dollars for a minifigure. It was just like, how do I? And I had the spreadsheet and I, I felt fairly confident and I was finding some of the ones that I wanted and I was like, let's take a shot at it. And I was thinking, it's just going to be really, really hard to pass up a $3 minifig. And so I told myself that if I, of the ones that I got that I don't think I'll use or need, I will sell them probably at a later date. I don't know. I don't have a, an official plan for that. So that might mean that I sell them on eBay. It might mean that I start something of a BrickLink store. This isn't like an official announcement, but I've been thinking about it and I've been talking with people in the comments section, in previous videos, uh, especially like the bulk Lego videos and why I stopped buying bulk Lego, which I'll link that video up here somewhere, um, about starting a store very casually. So I might do that. I don't know. This is not like, because I need to do something with these because I don't, uh, at the very least, I would, I would like to make my money back in some capacity for some of these things. But I did get some of the ones that I wanted for a really, really good price. And I feel really good about that regardless. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that yet, but uh, I will keep you posted on that. Also, a little update, the final two missing pieces, uh, this part and then this stickered tile, which the sticker isn't perfect, but it was kind of hard to find on BrickLink. These are the final two missing pieces for the Lego police boat that we built in a previous in the previous uh, Can We Build It series. Um, I just wanted to give you a little update sort of in this video as well on the progress of it. And these are the final two pieces, uh, except for, of course, the two 
uh, stickered pieces that these slopes should be that should say police on either side of this boat. It should say police on both sides. Um, but I think I'm going to put this together and we'll finally get this little guy his helicopter that he deserves. All right. And there it is. It is a completed boat and a completed helicopter. There it is. The police boat is finished. Yeah, this was the, uh, this little like radar sonar kind of spinny thing needed this, this sticker piece on the top there. But yeah, it's so it's complete minus the uh, motor that would go underneath to kind of make this thing sort of float uh, evenly in like water. Um, and then these two pieces here. So I think I will end up probably putting this like on eBay for a very, very reasonable price just to, I don't know. I, I don't really have a use for this. And, um, but I think it's a pretty cool old set and I'm sure someone who maybe collects either these types of city sets or maybe someone wants this for their kid or I don't know. Maybe someone is really into collecting like the old police sets back from back in the day. I'm not really sure, but this should go to someone who, who wants it. So I'll probably end up uh, listing this possibly on eBay and uh, uh, say goodbye to it. But it was a cool build and it was really fun to do. And I'm glad that I got it somewhat complete. I think, I don't know, I'm, I'm really I'm kind of excited about sort of where uh, the Can We Build It series will go. And I think it's kind of fun to just like hunt down the parts and be able to get my hands on some of these older sets that I normally wouldn't have bought or built. Um, and I get to build them and have fun. And then they get to go off to another home where they can be enjoyed by uh, somebody else. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this, uh, this video. That was, um, it's, it's a, it's a kind of an update video, sort of a random $3 minifig deal. I, I don't know. It was crazy. I, that was, if you had asked me before I went to New Zealand, was I going to find a deal on Lego? I would have told you no, because one, I, while I was planning to visit like a Lego store and stuff, I was not expecting to actually, uh, really buy anything. Um, just because, you know, the, I don't know, I, I thought the prices were going to be a lot more. Um, and here I find, uh, minifigures for 40% cheaper than they are in the States. Crazy. You never know. You never know where the Lego journey will take you. The Lego hobby is is a crazy one, and it's been so fun to be able to, like, find these kind of random things in different parts of the world on our travels and do all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool. And uh, I just it just continues to fuel my love for this hobby and the enjoyment that I get out of it. So thank you all so much for coming along with me. Um, on this journey. It really, really does mean a lot. So I will see you in the next one. But until then, remember, keep on building. Jim out!